we went to Rome, to Papst Franciscus, to the Pope, uh, and actually because they had some contact there. Yeah. <목소리> 안녕하세요, 소 맥주입니다. 자, 오늘은 그 유명한 군말 맥주 만드는 양조장 우리 사장님 만나러 왔고요. 오늘 간단한 대화를 통해서 어떤 제품이 나오게 될지 한번 알아보도록 하겠습니다. So, uh, can you briefly introduce yourself first? Yes. My name is Stefan Fritsche. I'm the general manager of the Nutella Kloster Brauerei here very close to Berlin. And we are producing since about 500 years now uh, beer mm -hmm. here in Neuzelle. We are a monastery, so it's a very old one, it's a very traditional one, of course. And we are quite very well known in Germany, also right now worldwide, of course, uh, because we are doing many, many strange things like, mm -hmm. like cherry beer, anti aging beer, bath, bath beer, yeah, potato okay. beer, so, so many, like 40 different types of beers. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. I just finished this uh, brewery tour. Yes, it's really lovely. But I saw many different beers, like uh, unusual for me actually. For you, like uh, some popular beer only, but here I saw like many different types of beer. Even I saw one kartoffel beer. Yes, kartoffel beer or potato beer. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. What is it in, in Korean language? Potato beer. Gamja. Ah, okay. Gamja means yes. kartoffel. Ah, okay. I know there is one place in Korea famous for kartoffel. They may contact us, and we may do gamja beer for them. <laughs> Okay, that's a good idea. Okay. I saw only one Gamja beer actually, oh, Korea. Yeah. Uh -huh. but I didn't actually try because I didn't believe the potato even can make beer, but yeah. I tried just before, it was very okay. nice. Very good. Very oh, good. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. No, so this is the point because there are so many beer brands around in the world, mm -hmm. but the most of them are just doing you normal know, Pilsner, Helles, maybe wheat beer, Weizen beer, for example. Right. Uh, we want to survive next to the big global players, mm -hmm. and the only point is how we can survive. We cannot be the cheapest beer, we cannot be. Mm -hmm. We cannot produce more beer than that. Mm -hmm. We cannot be a mass production, but we can be. But that's quite important because of these big breweries in Germany or America, they can produce whatever they want as much yes. as possible. But here we focus on very specific, a different beer. Yes. Also a little bit surprised because I saw this stout, Imperial Stout. Yes. But bottom fermentation. Yeah, this is a point. Like also again, uh, we have beer, and there are sometimes uh, beer brands or beer beer specialties which are already on the market, like. For example, uh, let's say the cherry beer. We are producing also cherry beer mm -hmm. with uh, 50 cherries in one bottle, by the way, but it's a very natural product. We were not the first uh, company who was producing cherry beer. There were companies already on the market. Yeah. We didn't copy them, so we, we just uh, did our own recipe, how we think about how should cherry beer taste like. And we did this, and after two years of uh, development, it was the point, you have to be free. You don't have to think, I want to copy someone, you have to be, even when you do something which is similar by name, so yeah. you have to go your own way. Because when I saw a uh, uh, taste cherry beer, it's a little bit different because uh, the amazing of cherry taste beer is usually Belgian as well. Yes, exactly. Like a more sour, and like exactly. a top fermentation. Exactly. But here you are making some from the traditional German beer, like bottom fermentation, and add this yes, cherry, cherry juice. juice. Yes, 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 yeah, but pure cherry juice, yeah. you know. The, 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 uh, we are calling this uh, the mother mother cherry juice even so mother <laughs> mother mother cure self yeah. in German. And this makes sense also to transport to Korea of course then. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, yes we, can, we can try some of these beers. Let's see. We have um, a strawberry beer here, we have cherry beer, and we have a hindia. Hindia, let's see. Uh, yes. Let's try to the cherry beer, for example. Just to show you one yeah. yes, it's just one of our beers, yes. I would say. And then you can see this is just beer with cherry juice. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, yes, and the point is like it's, it's really like the color really looks like cherry juice. Yes, of course, this is the point. It's, it's more. You like, didn't add any like very beautiful a, like a pigment, not yes. no artificial ingredient. And it's yes, it's a case. There's no colors inside, no 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 chemical stuff inside, and it's very very tasty. Wow. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yes. Post. Yes. Post. Ah, that's very tasty. And I swallow, still this full flavor yes. remains for a long time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> this is also the point. We're reaching people who normally don't drink beer at all. Uh -huh. say, too sour, too bitter, for example. Uh -huh. And people suddenly know, ah, this is also beer. It's cherry beer. Ah, this is a nice one. Ah, this is a very nice one. And yes, you have imagination how beer should taste. Mm -hmm. But we are without any borders. We are just free. We can do whatever we want. We want to have very nice, interesting That's beer. That's quite interesting. For me, because usually typical as a stereotype of yes. German beer is very exactly. strict. Yes, I have came out. Yes. I don't add anything else. I just score in like traditional way. But here I saw many different types already. Yes. And taste very 
I go, it's badgerous. <laughs> I would, yeah. But actually, 95% of my customers, mm -hmm. the consumers, yeah. they're saying, no, we are, we, are, we are, it's boring, just normal regular beer. Yes, we may drink, I don't know, like six days a week, we may drink normal beer. Mm -hmm. But on the seventh day, on the, on the last, on the Sunday, on the celebration here, uh, we, want, we want something else. And can you think about, uh, if you think about a recipe, if you, if you have a law in, in, in Korea, yeah. you just have to eat kimchi. Uh, Seven days a day, uh, yeah, a week is actually kimchi. an old Korean proverb. People yeah. say, you cannot leave only eating rice. Yes, <laughs> you need something exactly. else. Yeah, exactly. And this is the point, you know, just give us the freedom to produce everything that uh -huh. we want as a brewery. Yeah. And this is a chance for every small brewery and also for other companies, like small companies, don't be fixed on the rules on your market, no matter what you're doing. If you're doing rice, kimchi, beer, wine, uh, sake, I don't know. Just be creative yep. with creative. As a small company, you mm -hmm. can survive very easily. Okay. Yeah, so you are just making this bottom fermentation library, but still you have these kinds of, a lot of right. kinds of beer. Right. This is quite impressive for me. For, like we are doing anti-aging beer, you know, we are mm -hmm. doing, we are putting into spirulina, we are putting I saw that, yeah, my mom will love it. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever she comes to Germany, she used to buy this though. Yeah, that's skills. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, so uh, we did bath beer, you know, uh, beer for bathing purposes. Yeah. Yeah. We are sending bath to them, uh, to pharmacies, in bath beer. And, and this is something, uh, don't be limited by what other people should do. Or okay. Should. Yeah, that sounds great. Thank you. Yeah. Then uh, let's talk about a little bit about this magic powder. Yes, very good. Good. So for uh, now, we uh, have this powder uh, under preparation for shiva. Uh, it's uh, uh, still on track, means I can see from the market. Do I have to use this uh, guest water or just water? No, you, you just use it? normal water. Wow. Just use normal water in this case. Okay, yes. already the carbon gets included. Yes, yes. We have to mix it. So first, the first stage, what we're now doing is without alcohol and without gas, powdered uh -huh. gas. But the next level will be with powdered alcohol and powdered gas. I see. Powdered alcohol sounds a little bit old yeah. to me. <laughs> okay, I was just thinking if we can get this powder in Korea, because uh, it's interesting, in Korea you cannot sell alcohol by like a packet. Yes. So you cannot deliver actually. Yes. Ah. But in case if you make this powder with alcohol, yeah. this would be very interesting for of us. Course, of course. Because new law must come. This is like a changing the society. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Yeah. 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 This is the point. Like we did many, many times. We were changing everything also in our society. Mm -hmm. In Germany, we had uh, we have one beer which is called Black Abbot, Schwarzer Abt, mm -hmm. uh, and this is black beer with a little bit sugar. Okay. And we did this like a hundred years ago and, and all the time. And then there was a reunification between East and West Germany. Mm -hmm. The two uh, governments were the, the two uh, states were going together. Yeah. And we did this uh, Schwarz up with sugar. And then the German agriculture minister yep. was coming to us and said, no, this is not after the German purity law, it's forbidden to do this because it contains sugar, it's not Einheitsgebot. I see. So what happened was we were fighting with the German government yeah. 13 years, 13 years ago <laughs> about is it beer, is it allowed? And he, they wanted to forbid us, they wanted to say uh, it's forbidden to produce beer. For this beer. Yes, right? exactly, call it beer beer. Uh -huh. And we were fighting and after 13 years uh, oh. it was allowed to call this beer beer yeah. and we were winning against the German government. Oh. And so we changed everything, the whole beer market in Germany. Yeah, that's a very interesting story. You're yes, right. But with, uh, with one bottle of beer. This, yeah, it was quite recent that uh, some other ingredient can be added and people still say it's called beer. Yes, it's exactly. not a very long time ago, right? And, and we are the first one that says we were like fighting for this long. Yes, yes. There mm -hmm. was some, some gun has to be the first one, even though the beer part is the same. Mm -hmm. We're also the first one. And uh, what I did was, of course, now we got the blessing of the highest judge of Germany. Okay. Okay. He said, this beer has to be beer and, and uh, very <laughs> yeah, yeah, certification. certification and yeah. kind of blessing. You know, yeah. like, okay, this so we, beer. we went to Rome, to Papst Francisco, to the Pope, yeah. uh, and actually because they had some contact there, yeah. and I was asking, can I have also the blessing of the highest Catholic priest? Ah. Uh, and, and we went with this one bottle of the uh, of the Black Abbot. Yeah. We went uh, That's to Rome. the name. Yes, ah. the Black Abbot. We went to Rome, yeah. and uh, he was also giving the blessing on this bottle. <laughs> and, and this blessed bottle is always put it into the actual into the water in the beer water uh -huh. right now. And so we are hoping, we are thinking that the blessing of the Pope is also contacting to the water. So interesting. interesting story. Yes. So two times blessing. You know, one time from the more atheistic person, the judges of course atheistic, yeah. one 
no force as a monastery boy, yeah. just to be safe also from a religious person. Okay. Yeah. And you are spreading this blast to everybody. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Okay, no. And we are open, of course, yeah. about any other religion. So, if we can get any other, the blessing from other people are very welcome. Yeah. Uh -huh. Going people. By the way, we are looking for new green masters. We are looking for people who want to work. Also, people. <laughs> hiring. Hiring, yes. Yeah. But also, like, people who want to learn. Mm -hmm. uh, 